wife. My husband. Oh, a C. Um, he has planted, I, well, I've known him since we were five. So I've known him pretty much my whole lifetime. And the seed that he planted in me is that I am more than enough to do the things that I wanted to do. And on days if I would feel defeated or discouraged or like, yes, you know, screw it, I'm just, I'm done. Um, he is the person who would pick me up again and remind me of who I am and what my dreams are, what my hopes are. And he would encourage me to not forget that because sometimes if I get alone in my head too much, I will. I'll talk myself out of what I had hoped to do or what I wanted to do. And he's he will not let me stay there. Beautiful. What is a seed that you have already or hope to plant in other people's lives? That they are more than enough and that they are beloved and that there is hope in this world amongst all the darkness. And have you done that for people, you think? I think so. I hope. How so? so? Um, because I try to show love. I try to be intentional with my time, especially with my children. When they come up to me, um, it could be easy to just be like, yeah, yeah okay, you know, here's my, here's my answer to what you need, and then walk away. Um, but they need the time and they want to know that I'm there when I'm speaking with them. And just I've served a ministry with young women and with women my own age and just trying to make those connections to, to let people know that they are valued and that they are loved and that what they have to say is important. I think about it daily, but the busyness of life can distract me from my heart. And, and what, what I mean to say, what I want to say, what I hope to do, what I hope to portray. And, you know, if I'm elbows deep in washing dishes or folding towels or planning a meal, um, you know, sometimes that can get lost in the mundane. And I hope that I can be an example of even in the mundane and in the ordinary and the normal that there is beauty and joy and that I can shine even if I'm the only person in the room um, because I'm there for a reason and I don't need to know what the reason is when I have elbow grease um, <laughs> but I know I will someday and so uh, especially when I'm with my little ones now you know I've got the older ones especially with the little ones that they could see that you know okay mom is crazy because she's like humming a tune and she's loading that dishwasher again but they would see the joy coming from me.